Right, hi. <coughs> hi and welcome to the tutorial on how to unpack live suite images, um, edit the system, fix file and also um, we'll touch on editing the boot image and um, also the uh, boot fix and the, sorry, the boot loader, the boot, uh, the boot and the recovery. Okay, so I've placed everything in the tutorial here. I will create um, links for the programs that you require. Um, as soon as um, I'm done here, let me just clean this quickly. There we go. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to first go to All Winner Imagery Packer, and you'll see that I've already placed my image here. Okay, so you run Runner Bat, and what you do is you go back there and you just grab your image and you drag it onto that screen. Press Enter and then put in forward slash skip. Um, that's especially for um, all winner A13s. Um, there's something about the header of the CD uh, not being correct according to what it's expecting, and then it always throws out an error. So you just put skip and it will unpack it fine. Do you want to extract the images from the root FS? Say no and say no again. And you can just press enter. You see here it's created a Dixon image dump. Okay, if we go in here, <coughs> you've got your boot fix, that's your your kernel, your bootloader, your system and your uh, recovery there. So basically we're going to take these files out and bootloader, I'm going to cut them, I'm going to put them here. Okay, now bootloader is pretty straightforward, you can mount it in either uh, uh, disk, oh, what's it called? Uh, ISO Magic. Uh, let me just see here. I've got a portable version. Hang on. Yeah, ISO Magic. Um, the Magic ISO. There we go. You can um, mount it in there, or I use a program called IM Disk Virtual Disk, and I just say mount. Um, okay. And if I go back here, you'll see now it will mount as a as a drive there, and I can edit it. Now it mounts it. Um, as read and writable, so that's quite nice. Be careful about what you change though, because of the fact that you don't have the Android, per I mean the um, Linux permission system. Um, let me just show you what's in the folders. This is your second boot image that comes up after the. Uh, you switch on, you get one boot image, then you get another boot image, then you get your your um, boot animation. This is the second boot image. It's just a BMP in the correct um, resolution for the for the tablet. I don't even think that's the correct reason. Yeah, 800 by 480. Um, OS Show. This is uh, your things like your battery recharging when your system is off. Um, all different other pictures. You can change them if you want. Um, there's your script and uh, script O and script bin. Uh, that's about it. The sprite. I don't know what sprite is really. Just leave it. Um, so yeah, so there's a few things you can change here. You can change your boot image, obviously. You can change your your animations when your tablet is off. Also, with script bin and script over dot bin, you can do things like reverse your touch screen, uh, both on the x axis and the y axis. You can change drivers for your touch screen. You can um, change drivers for your, well basically any driver, it basically configures the whole system. Um, you can also flip your camera or not flip your camera, stuff like that. Okay, so that's 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 the bootloader. Now we're not going to touch too much on that obviously because um, that's not where we're heading. Um, now if we go back here, now we've got the boot and the recovery. Now how to unpack boot and recovery, you need your um, Android Image Kitchen and basically all you do is you grab it and you put it, drag it onto unpack image .bat and there we go, it is now split, there's your, RAM, uh, your split image there's your RAM disk, all the files um, I'm not going to go into what these are right now, we can do that on another tutorial but that's how you unpack it to repack it, um, you just go repack image .bat there we go, and there's our new image although it names it image, it's you can just take it back to where you were, uh, paste, and just rename that boot.fix. There we go. 
we'll do this. Um, I'm not going to bother unpacking the um, recovery fix. Um, you've seen how that's done. Um, right, now what we're going to do is the system fix has to be edited in Linux. You can edit it in, in Windows, but very small edits because if you do anything wrong with the permission system that that Linux assigns you're going to screw up your Android and it's not going to boot, I can guarantee that. So rather edit it in Linux, learn Linux, it's not that hard um, and yeah, I do not run a virtual machine, I only run uh, dual booting so we'll be dual booting into Linux Mint now and I will start recording the screen there so we'll see you now in Linux. Cheers! Alright, so here we are in Linux. I'm using Linux Mint 14. Um, first thing we're going to want to do is go fetch that uh, system fix uh, that is on that hard drive there. So there it is. Now we just cut it and come to our home. Uh, make a directory in your home. Uh, in folder, we'll call it um, tutorial. and place your system fix in there. Now there's another tool you're going to need, it's called um, the uh, Linux image tools or, or Winner, I'll check now. Yeah, just tools. I'll put a link to it um, or you can get it off the one website um, which I'll put links to as well. So I'm just going to cut that and go back to the come to tutorial, put it there and all you do is you extract it. Now you open that directory, well first open it as root um, because you're going to mount um, your image there and that's going to require root and then uh, what we can do is we can just go here and just say open terminal and that will open my terminal as root as well, yeah great. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to put them side by side so you can see, is we're going to make a directory and we're going to call it system. Okay. Now we're going to go uh, tools SIMG2IMG um, system dot fix system dot IMG. So we're basically decoding the fix file into an IMG file. Okay, and um, there it is. There's the IMG that we're going to work with. So now we say mount uh, mount minus O loop, not zero, O loop system dot IMG to system. And there we go, it's mounted. So if we look here now, there's what's inside system IMG and it's writable so we can open build.prop and we can edit it there whatever we want um, you can put your apps in your system directory or you can do whatever you want basically now um, if you go to your bin you'll see there's all our programs you'll see in bin is normally um, I'll actually I've created a fixed permission script so what I'll do is I'll put a I'll put a um, a link to this as well and what you can do is you can either call it um, via your terminal or you can call it in your pre-install sh script there um, so if you do work inside Windows like, like I was saying earlier you can run this before you boot and that will fix any permissions for any applications that you've uh, put into um, into the system app folder that need the permissions now set because uh, it's got to obviously be set to root and or the permissions all have to be correct. Okay, now I always forget this damn command. So let me just go get it quickly to build the um, the, the new image once you've finished um, once you've finished modifying it. You're going to have to enter this command, and I always forget it. Don't ask me why. Uh, come on. Well, first of all, we're going to have to go to Tools. Right. Uh, the system partition. And 
there we go so we want to make use of the image there um, normally I increase the 300 megs at the end um, to um, about 380 but because I haven't really modified the script now that 300 megs is big enough um, so yeah so just that command there write it down somewhere once you've um, entered that command you can then go cd and you go umount system and now it's unmounted now that you've finished with your modification you can go back into windows so we're going to do that now back in windows here and um, just I'm just playing around quickly I just want to check some stuff here okay so here we have the files from Linux um, there's the system IMG that we converted from the fix um, I'm just going to check now I just want to see if I can mount this I don't think I can uh, let me have a look no okay it's not going to mount it so we just leave it alone um, <coughs> I use a program called IM Disk Virtual Disk. It's brilliant for mounting things, but some things it can't mount, some things it can. Okay, so here's here's the new system fix. This is the file that we've now, after we've uh, altered the system fix in Linux, we made the new image, and this is what it made. So we're just going to rename this to System dot fix. So we just wait for it to finish copying quickly. Come on, one and finished okay so let's rename this to system.fix okay then we're going to copy all three of these files back into our image dump okay copy them and just replace any files that it conflicts with then we're going to copy them again um, and we're going to put them into the ISO directory okay play paste them, delete the other ISOs, the system fix ISO, the recovery fix ISO and the boot fix ISO. Just delete them and then rename these, give them the extension of ISO. So you just put dot ISO. This just ensures that when it creates the image again um, that it is um, compiling it correctly with all all the correct files in that. So um, also, I think it, it does look to see if they match with the fix files, so I just do it like this. It's easier. It takes two seconds. Okay, so we come back here, and we just run image uh, the IMG repacker. Okay, so what you do is you run the runner bat, and then you take the actual um, directory, dump it onto here, press enter, and then put in forward slash skip again because of the A13 uh, header problem. Now this is going to take a little while to rebuild the live suite image but once it's built it will rename the old image uh, the old Dixon.image, the one I was working with, to Dixon.image.back and it will re uh, name the new one Dixon.image which also you'll see now there it's busy writing the image file and it will rename it. As you can see it says Dixon.img Okay, just say no and no and just press enter Right, so there you can see there's the back, and here is the Dixon image, and it's slightly slightly bigger by a few kilobytes, which is fine. Um, this is just uh, various things I don't know. Normally, if you don't edit, it comes out the same size. So now what we'll do is we'll load it into Live Suite. Okay, so there we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to flash my, my tablet. It doesn't matter. I've got a, a, a Clockwork mod backup of it. Um, so let me just get everything, I've got to switch it off and get it connected in that. So let me just do that quickly. Um, because we're just going to show you obviously that this, you know, we've re we've unpacked, we've modified, we've repacked and we just want to make sure it now flashes. Um, as soon as you connect your your tablet, if, um, if the image hasn't been packed correctly, it will tell you that the image is not valid. Um, now because I've got my microphone plugged in, I have to ins uh, plug my tablet into a different USB port so it just wants to install the drivers again quickly just say yes okay there we go it's installed so now we just wait for live suite to notice it there we go I always select yes uh, for the uh, format I want it to format my system because I'm obviously I don't want any conflicts um, but if you aren't uh, if you don't want to lose your, your data and stuff like that, then just press no. But um, if you want to guarantee a clear...
routine install, always press yes. Um, you can always use something like titanium backup to backup your user data and stuff like that. Um, or like me, I've got it uh, both on Ubrise and I've got it on um, CWM. So, okay, so we're just waiting for it to flash. Um, let's have a look. There's, there is one file that you can easily edit in Windows, which is your bootloader. Now, your bootloader is uh, basically responsible for the setup of your your whole tablet. Um, I'm going to mount it with IM Disk Virtual Disk again. Um, You'll see once it mounts it. Um, here we go. So let's just go into it. I hate it when Windows groups things. Oh, why did it do that? Uh, where's that group? No, no, no. Group by, group by. There we go. Uh, just say none. And then just change it. Medium, large icons. There we go. Okay. So let's have a look here. Your OS show file contains all the things like your battery uh, animation for when your tablet is off stuff like that your Linux file it contains your second boot image this is the one that loads up after the kernel um, you can just save it as a BMP and you, you must save it save it obviously save it as the right um, resolution you just place it in there and it will display that image um, vendors empty sprite I'm not too sure what it's about not too interested script naught and script uh, bin they set up everything when it comes to your when it comes to your tablet they control the drivers they control whether your screen touch screen is flipped x and y um, or your camera is x and y flipped uh, if you've got a, a rom that isn't running uh, the touch screen you'd want to edit those to load different drivers maybe um, but we'll get into that later okay there we go my upgrade has succeeded now what we'll do is we'll pause this video and uh, I will show you that uh, the tablet is working, um, which means I'm going to change to my cell phone and we'll record it on the cell phone. So just hang on. Right, so we're on the cell phone now. So we're going to boot up, just show you that uh, the flash was successful. See, so there's your boot up image from bootloader. The first one is your kernel image. And of course, your first boot is, is always quite slow um, due to the fact that um, you know it's got to write the Dolby cache and everything like that again and create your data drive. But um, yeah, there's the proof. Um, we unpacked it, we edited it, we repacked it, and we flashed it. Um, just waiting for it to get onto the main screen so you can see it does work. And remember, this is this is an A13 tablet. This is the the one that we're busy importing into South Africa. Um, quite a nice little tablet. Sorry about the lighting. Uh, it's got a microphone, uh, USB, your DC, your headphone, your menu, your escape, your power, dual camera, micro SD slot there. Um, it's an all winner A13. Quite a nice little tablet, actually, 7 inch. Probably one of the best ones I've seen. I want to use by default. So Nova Launcher. Ah, there we go, Nova Launcher. And there she is. She's alive and kicking. So good luck on your packing and unpacking and everything like that. Um, if you screw it up, start over. It's not too much. Um, it's good fun. I've learned a lot over the last few weeks. Mm. That's that's basically it. You got to you, what, what you saw me do now. And I mean that didn't take long. Um, I've learned in less than two weeks. Um, so yeah, guys, have fun, and we'll speak to you soon.